Now KTM call their big bike the beast and they call this the scalpel so um, if it's a scalpel let's go and see how well it carves up eh? Those brakes are amazing coming in hot like that they just pull up, lean it in, pick a line nail it out, that motor pulls like crazy and again stand on it get your line set up this is a lot of fun this bike here you go yep it's definitely a scalpel well g'day everyone this is a bike that I've been uh, looking forward to testing all year it's the very latest KTM 890R so it's the upgraded model on the 790 that's been around for about a year and I rode it when it first came out it was a really nice bike um, but this is kind of it on steroids so um, yeah really looking forward to getting out and having a blast it is a perfect perfect Perth day so yeah go out in the hills and have have a bit of fun on it so they've just arrived they're in pretty high demand at the moment this is a demo and the dealers can't actually get any stock unless they're pre-sold so um, they're proving pretty popular I love this segment of bikes because they're so comfy to ride and I've always had certainly for the last few years big naked bikes I've had the, the 1290 Super Duke and you know I really like that sort of power so it's going to be interesting what it's like on a parallel twin 890 Let's take it for a squirt and find out. Uh, if you talk about the bike pricing in Australia is $18,990 at the moment. To give you a comparison, the $790 is $14,990 and the, the Beast is about $28,000. So it sort of fits in the middle. You know, I suppose that's $9,000 cheaper than a um, the Super Duke. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. It's a lot of money, you know. On paper it makes sense that the sort of horsepower this makes it is super light and narrow can I tell you I feel like I'm riding a 250 the ergonomics are nice the the pegs are a bit higher than the 790 and the seats a bit higher but I've got to tell you it's a really comfy ride you could ride this all day let's have a bit of a look around it so some of the beautiful things they've done these um, are the latest Stylema Brembo brakes they are phenomenal this thing just pulls up it is unbelievable it only weighs 166 kilos dry so you know you'd expect it stops but with those brakes gosh it's good um lots of revisions over the um the 790 it's got a different head with bigger valves different balance shaft in it different crank different flywheel to cope with extra torque um different set of rims obviously they've gone to a lighter rim on the 890 and then because it's the R model it gets the uh, the orange frame which looks pretty sexy but yeah the fact that it is just such a skinny bike when you sit on it you seriously you do feel like you're sitting on a 250 it's um pretty cool little thing just turn the the dash on there you know, so you've got a turn the dash on if you can see that really nice digital dash you know that kind of series KTM are running on everything that looks really cool you know done a lot of nice stuff on it and boy it's got some mumbo it doesn't have the top end that you get you know on a super Duke. It just doesn't have that but the mid and the way it drives and for most people this may be a much more rideable bike they can probably ride this a lot quicker they can ride something like the bigger bikes because they you know they kind of ride you at times it could be a really perfect package for a lot of people eight nine grand cheaper than the big super duke and you know 15 16 grand cheaper than a street fighter i know you know it's not their ultimate bike but boy it's an all-round package and the power delivery is there you know it has all the excitement down low of those bigger bikes it just doesn't have that absolute manic top end you know that comes with a couple of hundred horsepower so um, yeah, I think they might have created, you know, it's just in that sweet spot and and the fact you're getting nice fit fixtures to it, you're getting TFT dashes, Stylema brakes, adjustable suspension, you know, it's a really sweet bike that you go, it's a bike I want rather than um, buying it because I can't afford the next bike up. 
actually you know you'd buy this because you really want this sort of ride that sort of power delivery and that that amazing handling so great job KTM I think you've kicked a goal with this and it's probably the bike in some ways the 790 always should have been but you know in saying that the 790 is four grand cheaper so you've got to weigh that up is uh, the extra bit of horsepower and better suspension worth and the brakes worth four grand I reckon they are all day long yep I'd certainly part with the money to get get those nice features you know for most people it's going to give you everything you ever want you certainly can lose your license on this thing so I think in summary the really strong points are the fact that it's a light flickable beautiful handling bike that's got a really nice motor great gearbox the suspension is just superb on it and the brakes are out of this world so you know it's almost ticking every box that you could want it's a naked it's comfortable you could ride this all day and you wouldn't have a sore back or ache you know you you get on a super bike ride all day you're going to be buggered but um the negatives i think you know is that ktm want to charge you extra to unlock the electronics and uh, you know i think guys that's yeah it adds to the bike you know it's another thousand dollars in australia to get the track pack and you know the seat's okay but i'm not loving it and ktm you know will definitely have an aftermarket you know power part seat that's really comfy really nice why they don't just stick that on the bike in the first place um, so there, there's my little gripes but otherwise you know I would give this bike nine and a half out of ten it is an epic bit of kit and just wonderful to ride and on these sort of roads you know just that twisty bumpy you know it's so easy and effortless you know you're hitting decent bumps it soaks it up does everything nicely you know and you just dab those brakes are phenomenal lean it in squirt it out that's third gear just wants to pull you know. and that motor up high gear sounds fantastic it's got I think the noticeable amount of extra grunt over the 790 make it such a nice toy it just needed that little bit extra bit better handling and KTM have delivered in spades just beautiful like that if you're in the market for a serious road toy I reckon you want to go and give this thing a ride it's not going to disappoint you know, you're going to come away with a huge smile on your face thanks again to the guys at Savage Motorcycles really appreciate the opportunity to get out and test ride some of their gorgeous bikes and yep thanks for tuning in everyone have a great day